ladies and gentlemen, will you please be upstanding for the arrival of the bridal party? Daniel, I will tell you who this car so that you can turn around and find it if you wish. Ladies and gentlemen, with the exception of my wedding party here at the front, please be seated. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the lovely setting of Cropwell Farm, which has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. We are here today to witness and indeed to celebrate the marriage of Daniel and Nicole. And on their behalf, may I thank you for joining with them in this, the celebration of their very special day. We do hope that it will be a happy and memorable day for you all, but especially for you too. Now, as we begin the ceremony, I do have a question for another very special gentleman in Nicole's life. Who presents Nicole to be married to Daniel? I do. Thank you, sir. Would you like to give your daughter a kiss? And would you like to shake the hand of your future son-in-law? Okay. Wish him luck if you think he yeah, needs good it. Good <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, please be seated. My name is Anne Parks, and on behalf of Northamptonshire County Council Registration Service, it's my very pleasant duty to conduct your ceremony here today. My colleague is Mary Leeming, and as the registrar, it is her responsibility to witness your marriage and to issue that very important certificate. Before we can proceed with the wedding ceremony, I do have to ask that if any person here present knows of any lawful impediment why Daniel and Nicole may not be joined in matrimony, they should declare it now. Perfect guests. <laughs> Daniel, please state your full name. Uh, Daniel John Dunkley. 
Nicole, please state your full name. Nicole Francis Lloyd. Daniel John Dunkley. Nicole Francis Lloyd. Before you are joined in matrimony, it's my duty to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. But further, it's a special union to provide love, care and support to each other throughout the joys and sometimes those challenges that we know life can bring. I'm now going to ask each of you in turn to declare that to the best of your knowledge and belief, there is no lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. So Daniel, you first. Please repeat after me. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful, lawful impediment. Why I, Daniel John Dunkley. Why I, Daniel John Dunkley. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Nicole Francis Lloyd. To Nicole Francis Lloyd. Perfect. Now, Nicole, your turn. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Nicole Francis Lloyd. Why I, Nicole Francis Lloyd. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Daniel John Dunkley. To Daniel John Dunkley. Ah, our word perfect was that. Well done. <laughs> The moment has now arrived, ladies and gentlemen, for Daniel and Nicole to contract their marriage before you, their witnesses, their families and their friends. These special words will join them together both formally and publicly. And although they've invited you all here to share in and witness their marriage, there are some specially designated witnesses who I'm going to call forward now. So please, will Emily and Jordan come forward? Will Robert and Leslie please come forward? And I would like to ask you two to face each other and join hands, please. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask that if you are able, and it's comfortable for you to do so, please stand and join together for the celebration of the marriage. Ladies and gentlemen, your job is to witness the words that these two people are going to say to each other, and in a few minutes' time, we will call you forward to sign the register to say that you heard them. Is that all right? Yep. All right with you. <coughs> Daniel, that long question that I told you about is coming now. I'm going to start with you. Daniel, will you take Nicole to be your wedded wife, to share your life with her, to love, support and comfort her, whatever the future may bring? I do. Please repeat after me. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Daniel John Dunkley. To witness that I, Daniel John Dunkley. Do take thee, Nicole Francis Lloyd. Do take thee, Nicole Francis Lloyd. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Same long question for you, Nicole. Nicole. Will you take Daniel to be your wedded husband? To share your life with him? To love, support and comfort him? Whatever the future may bring. I do. Please repeat after me. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Nicole Francis Lloyd. To witness that I, Nicole Francis Lloyd. Do take thee, Daniel John Dunkley. To take thee, Daniel John Dunkley. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Well done. Ladies and 
Gentlemen, did you hear those words? Perfect. We'll call you forward again in a few minutes' time. Please take your seats, everybody. However, Jordan, don't make yourself too comfortable because you have another part to play now. Traditionally, the wedding ceremony is marked by the exchange of rings. These rings are a symbol of the unbroken circle of love and are an outward sign of the vows that you are making to each other. May these rings remind you always of the lifelong promises that you are making today. So, Jordan, I do believe you have those special items. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Please open the box. Thank you, Daniel. Didn't even need to tell you. Take Nicole's left hand in your hand, put the ring on the tip of her finger, hold it there, and repeat these words after me. Nicole, I give you this ring. Nicole, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a token of our love. And as a token of our love. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. To remain true to you. To remain true to you. And to love and respect you always. And to love and respect you always. And slide the ring onto her finger. <coughs> Don't worry if it sticks a bit. Nicole, if it's a bit stuck, you go. Okay? Fingers and new wedding rings don't always match. <laughs> Jordan, step forward, sir, please. Your job is not finished. Please take the ring that is destined for Daniel's finger. Take his left hand in your hand. Place the ring on his, the tip of his finger. Hold it there and repeat these words after me. Daniel, I give you this ring. Daniel, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a token of our love. And as a token of our love. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. To remain true to you. To remain true to you. And to love and respect you always. And to love and respect you always. And slide that ring onto his mm -hmm. finger. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect fits. Mm -hmm. Families and friends of Daniel and Nicole, through the vows that they have made today, they are pledging themselves to each other for the, for the years ahead, believing that whatever life may hold for them, they will share through the strength and the love that their marriage will bring. Today is a new beginning for you both. This day will form a milestone in your lives, and I hope that you will look back on it with much joy and happiness. Daniel John Dunkley, Nicole Francis Lloyd, you have now made your declarations of marriage as prescribed by law, and through them have made a solemn and binding contract with each other. In the presence of the registrar, your witnesses, your families, and your friends assembled here today. And it gives me great pleasure now to pronounce that you are, in fact, joined together lawfully as husband and wife. And Daniel, I do. Ceremony. My colleague Mary has had all the hard work to do, and her writing hand is just about rubbing off, I think, because she has been entering all the details in the register, writing the certificates, and she is now ready. So, your talk next, Mary. Evidence. 
<laughs> Just in case it's a bit of a blur later. So, Dan, you went first throughout the ceremony, didn't you? I did. I do hope you enjoyed it. For the first and last time. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your beautiful wife goes first from now on. And in recognition of that and true wedding tradition, the certificates are always given to the bride. And you have got four. Thank you. <laughs> now I'm going for a lie down and I'm going to <laughs> I need you two to stand up again and to come to the front of the table again, but this time I'm going to need you, Nicole on that side, Daniel on this side. Right. And you could give Nicole back her flowers. It has been an absolute pleasure for Mary and myself to conduct your ceremony here today. We offer you our very warmest congratulations and wish you many happy years of married life together. And so, ladies and gentlemen, in keeping with, with another wedding tradition, the bride enters the room on her father's right arm, but she exits the room on her groom's left. The traditionalists amongst you might say, well, that's so that his sword arm is free to defend his lovely wife. But the romantics amongst you may well say that that way round, she is nearer to his heart. Oh. <laughs> I think I know whether you're traditionalists or romantics. So ladies and gentlemen, Please stand one more time and raise the roof to give a rousing welcome to the newly married Mr. and Mrs. Dunkley. Thank you.
On behalf of the morning room, I would like to thank everyone here for making their way to this lovely wedding. But they have travelled from the other side of the world, or just across the road. The day wouldn't be what it is without you all here to celebrate it too. For those of you who don't know, I'm Jordan. I've been with Emily, Daniel's sister, for seven years now. And for the first time I met Daniel, I thought we were going to be good friends. He's a bit of a geek and doesn't care what people think of him. So much so that when we, he was stripped naked in Budapest on his stag do, when the stripper ripped open his shirt, he had an old stained Freddie Mercury vest on underneath tucked into his jeans. And it's a sight I never will forget. But I bet you're wearing that vest right now. I'm actually not. <laughs> I what? never thought Daniel would be half the thing he has in a coal. I watched him for three years, biting his toenails, picking his nose and eating it, and wondering why he was single. <laughs> I've been a part of this crazy family for a long time now, and I never have met anyone who speaks about shitting themselves and sex as much as these lot do. <laughs> but I'm honoured to be part of such a tight and honest family. All jokes aside, I've made a best friend forever in Daniel. I will ring him with any question, and somehow he always knows the answer. He's like my own personal Google. <laughs> <Not wrong. laughs> he has the brains, and his sister definitely has the beauty. <laughs> I'd like to also say how beautiful the bride looks today, and what an amazing job she's done to make this such a special day, not just for herself and Daniel, but for everyone involved. Nicole is such a wonderful woman, and deserves a perfect man, Unfortunately, don't always get what you want. <laughs> they say that the best man's speech will last as long as the groom does in bed, and I think that was about three minutes. <laughs> so if you all raise your glasses, and toast to the new and happy Mr. and Mrs. Dumpling. <laughs> I'll pass one to Sophie. Cheers, sure. <laughs> Um, one day, Nicole invited me to sit with a, a couple of rows behind her with the cooler kids. I still can't work out why she did it, whether it was in her good nature that took pity on me, or whether she wanted me to help her with her homework. <laughs> um, anyway, she kept me around and we bonded over cups of tea, Harry Potter, talking about boys, and most importantly, food. <laughs> we love the food. Um, Nicole. Since I've known you, I've watched you learn about who you are as a person, begin to respect yourself, and learn about your own values and what drives you in life. I've watched you follow your ambitions, and it's been an absolute joy to witness. I'm going to put this down here because I can't stop joking. <laughs> um, you are caring, loving, fun, driven, independent, and you rarely ask for anything from anyone and you still give so generously to everyone and it's shown now in today and how amazing it's been. It's all been Nicole's little plan all along about how beautiful everything is. Um, you are one of the most special people in my life and I'm blessed to be able to call you my friend, my sister and I wouldn't be who I am today if it wasn't for you. Seeing you here today looking so beautiful and happy it's incredible and every girl's wish for their best team. So when I met Daniel, going on to now, um, I was stunned that I'd actually met the man version of Nicole. <laughs> what he appeared, I'll say is, but he appeared to be organised, adventurous, loves to travel, loves to eat, loves a cup of tea, oh my god. Um, and of course, loves all things Asian. So, what a perk for him when he found out I can make him dumplings. Damn right. <laughs> Daniel, I'd like, like to thank you for making Nicole so happy and making her absolute dreams come true and making her become Mrs. Dumpling today. My pleasure. 
I know that you'll strive to continue to protect her, support her, make her happy for the rest of your lives. If you don't, <laughs> um, and that's all I'd ever wish for her. I'd like to say how proud I am as well of how amazing she's become to little stepmum for my man Zachary, who we found a love of muck nuggets dipped in milkshake, which to your disgust you hate, I know, Disgusting. we love it. Um, and I'd like to wrap this up um, just by reading one of my favourite poems, which I think is really relevant, not just for a wedding, but any friendship as well. So, oh, I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I'm never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. Whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world, for beautiful you are my world, my true. And it's you, whatever a moon has always meant, and whatever a sun will always sing, is you. Here is the deepest secret that nobody knows. Here is the root of the root, and the bud of the bud, and the sky of the sky of life. And this is the wonder that keeps the stars apart. I carry your heart, I carry it in my heart. It's been an absolute honour to be part of your day, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you both. Um, I'm sure that the rest of you find people as well. So to just wrap it up, I'd like to raise a toast to Nicole and her Daniel. Nicole and Daniel. Hi. 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 Hello everybody, my name's Robert. I'm, uh, obviously, uh, you know, I'm Nicole's dad. <laughs> Firstly, I would like to thank all the guests for attending today and to everybody that has helped participate in making um, Nicole's and Daniel's <coughs> big day, as special as it is. As well, in fact, as well as thanking everybody for all the fabulous gifts you've, you've left. Um, as you can imagine, I haven't been to many um, Father of the Bride speeches, but from what I understand, it's tradition to start off with all the, with all the right intentions and then sort of go to pieces over a few words. Well, that won't be happening here at the moment, or at least I hope it won't. Um, I'll do my best. Um, as a parent, your child getting married is a big deal. Um, but as a dad, your daughter getting married is even bigger. Here it goes. Nicole, seeing you here today is a far cry from the little baby crawling around the living room all those years ago. Uh, as you sit here in front of me, you've grown into a beautiful woman. You look absolutely delightful today as you've done your whole life. You don't look so bad, either Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nicole, seeing you today, sitting here in front of all these lovely people makes me feel immensely proud and emotional in equal measure. Um, at this point, I'd really like to welcome Daniel into our family. Welcome, Daniel. Um, well done, mate. Well done. Very much. <laughs> there is a small matter of a bit of a light set to test with. Us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding, mate. <laughs> Nicole, I hope you and Daniel enjoy many years of happiness and fulfilment. And all I'd like to say now is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please raise your glasses. Join me in the toast to my beautiful daughter and a dashing husband, Daniel. in advance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. First of all, on behalf of my wife and I, uh, we, uh, 
we uh, would like to welcome you all to our special day and thank you very much for coming. Um, we're thrilled to have so many of our close family and friends here, um, whether you've travelled from Thailand and Australia, Canada, it's really, really nice to have you all here and I, words can't put into, I can't write it down, I just can't, I couldn't do it. Um, I personally would like to start off by thanking my now father-in-law, um, not, for his, not just for his generous contribution to the day, but also for allowing me to take on the role of loving and protecting his daughter and how important to Nicole, uh, important to you Nicole is and Lee and I promise that I will also make your daughter my top priority and I will never leave her side. <laughs> when it comes to my side of the family uh, things are slightly less conventional. Um, <laughs> my mum I really want to thank you for always being there for me, uh, for being there. I've made some really, really silly mistakes in my life and you've always been there behind me, picking up the pieces, not judging mm, much. <laughs> um, Emily, what can I say? Um, I'm lucky enough to not only have the most beautiful, mature, thoughtful sister in the world, but someone that I can also call one of my best friends. That's good. Nick, I'd really like to thank you for helping me shape you, uh, shaping me into the man that I am today. Um, and finally, but not least as well, Rob, thank you for putting up with my mother. <laughs> thank you for supporting me, not judging me, and treating me just not, not just like your, part, my part, your partner's son, but treating me like your own. And thank you very much to all of you. I love you all so much. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm alright, I'm just trying to chill myself out. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like you all to put your hands together and thank Nicole's bridesmaids, who all look absolutely beautiful. Sophie, Emily, Zoe, Sasha, Keely. Huh? No, not yet. Sit down. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Um, thank you very much for helping Nicole all along the way. Um, I'll go on to his presence in a little while, you all know. Um, Jordan, Stuart, thank you for taking on the role as being my best man. Stuart, I've known you since I was, what, 11, 12? That day that I punched you in the arm and you randomly got a nosebleed for some reason. <laughs> no idea how that happened, but it did. Um, no idea. And Jordan, thank you for being the perfect partner to my sister and soon to be hopefully best brother in law of our school. I would like to say thank you for organising a great stag do, but for anyone that actually knows me well enough, they will know there's no way I could trust either of these two idiots <laughs> to take the Skagness, let alone to a different country. However, I still had an amazing time and what I can remember anyway. <laughs> Of course, I'm saving the best till last. <clears throat> Nicole, where do I begin? What I want to say is I love you so much. I'm so happy that I can now call you my wife. Writing this was truly easy because I switched off my brain, doesn't really take a lot to do, <laughs> and just let my heart do the talking. Words cannot describe how beautiful you look today. Just knowing, I'm, just knowing I'm sharing the rest of my life with you makes me already feel like I've succeeded in life. We've been planning this wedding for nearly two years now. Well, I say we. Nicole actually did all the work. And <laughs> one of the best things about being the man is that weddings seem to just organise themselves. <laughs> and you all got here, magically. <laughs> I know this sounds like it makes me sound like I haven't wanted to help, but whenever I asked Nicole if there was anything that I could do to take the weight off her shoulders, the answer was usually, no, I'll do it all, it's fine, don't worry, I've got it. Now some of you don't really know how me and Nicole met. I booked myself a bit of an ad hoc holiday off to Thailand and had an amazing time and was gutted after coming home after two weeks. Little did I know when my life was about to change. When I landed in the airport, I checked my, one of my profiles and saw that this beautiful girl had favourited it. So I thought, okay, Daniel, let's message her and see if she did this on purpose. 
saw her a little message and said, did you mean to like my profile or did you do it by accident? <laughs> Within a few mi minutes, I got a message back saying, no, I did it by accident. <laughs> Great, I thought, but before I could type back a message, I got a message back saying, actually, I'm only joking. And from that moment on, I just knew she was the one. Nicole has worked so hard and put so much effort into making this day possible. She has organised and arranged things I would never even consider. She has gone into so much detail and really has thought about absolutely everything. I've been so amazed to watch her plan this wedding. Her organisation skills have overwhelmed me. Maybe that's the teacher in you, obviously. You've done an amazing job, babe. And I, can't, and I think I can speak on behalf of everyone here today that all we want you to do is enjoy your day. Yeah. Yeah. I feel so lucky to have found a bride that not only has the same sense of humour as me, but is beautiful and kind. You have a gorgeous smile, and seeing that smile every day puts a smile on my face. I haven't always made the right decisions in life, but one thing I know for sure, marrying you is definitely the best one I've ever made. Thank you. <laughs> We've definitely come a, lot, come a long way together as a couple. There's always going to be some challenging times, we both know that. But I feel that we've taught each other so much already along the way. No relationship is easy and there will always be challenges waiting for us. But honestly, I can say with confidence, as long as I face them with you, I think that we can do it together. Um, I'd like to finish off, but not only by raising a toast, but also by thanking everybody that's helped today with a few gifts for myself and Nicole. And uh, yeah, so first of all, if you could raise your glasses to Nicole. And uh, yeah, so first of all, Robert, thank you very much. Can you help me with these? I know you can't paint very well, but I don't know which ones are which. You organise them. Is this one? I'm Jiwon. Well. Well, thank you very much for your amazing contribution. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lee? Lee? Obviously, mother of the bride. Thank you very much. Thank you, Don't go and give the people over there any purpose, okay? Um, Mum? You're going to rip that. <laughs> this is for you. Rob? Can we go, my friend? Sophie? I was hoping to put them in order. Uh, Emily? It's easier for you, Nicole. Uh, Zoe? <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Sasha and Keely, you can come up together. It's a long walk around there. There are some wrong ones there, don't worry, it's fine. And, uh, Jordan is here. Come on, boys. Well done. You look familiar in Martin. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. Like and finally, and definitely not any way least, Karen. 
<laughs> you have literally been one of the best and most handy friends for Nicole. Uh, if you look around, if all, you all look around at the moment, maybe out there a little bit more. She's uh, amazing. She's amazing. Half of the stuff that's here, Karen has helped Nicole with, has been there through everything and has helped her no matter what. And half of this couldn't have been here if Karen wouldn't have helped. Thank you all very much.